Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following questions that pertain to your quadratic function or your parabola. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. The diagram, the graph of f of x equals 2x squared minus 2 is shown. The graph of f cuts the x's at a, b, and c. Line h is parallel to the x-axis and passes through a. We are to determine the following. We start with the first question, the coordinates of a, b, and c. Note that we've been told that the line h is parallel to the x-axis. So if we have x-axis as shown, the point b and c are the x-intercept while the point A is a y-intercept. So starting with question 1, to find points A, B, and C, I have the function has been given as f of x, which is also equal to y equals 2x squared minus 2. To find coordinates of A, B, and C, I'm starting with coordinates A. So at A, we have a y-intercept and at y-intercept the value of our x is 0. So every occurrence of x I'm going to change that to 0. So I have y is in the equation of the function equals 2 x squared x is 0 so I'm going to put that in the bracket minus 2 my y equals 2 times 0 squared 0 squared is 0 2 times 0 is 0 so y will be negative 2. So the point or the coordinates at A will be, we have x is 0 and y is negative 2. The second part of the question, we have at B and C, at B and C, what we have is our x-intercept. x-intercept means where the line passes through the x-axis, and the value of y at that point is 0. So using the equation of the function, we are going to have y, which is 0, equals 2x squared minus 2. We have, making x a subject of formula, we have 2x squared equals to plus 2. I move my negative 2 to the other side. Dividing both sides by 2, we are left with x squared equals to 1. And to find the value of x, we're going to find the square root of both sides. So we have x will be equal to plus or minus 1. So the point will be, if x is negative 1, then y is 2. The second point will be x and be positive 1, and then y is 0. So if we go back to the diagram, b is on the negative part of our x-axis, so point B will be a negative 1, 0, while C is on the positive side of our x-axis, so that will be 1 and 0. So we've been able to solve the first part of the question. The second question says, the values of x for which f is increasing. If you look at the graph of the function, you see that at the points where the function f is increasing is on the positive side of our x-axis. I'm going to highlight that. So we have x increasing in the right-hand side. So what that means is, for question 2, x or the function is increasing where we have the value of x greater than 0. Not that, on the other side, the value of the function is decreasing on where we have x less than 0. So note that for the function to be increasing, we have the value of x greater than 0. For the third part of the question, we have the values of x for which f is in decreasing all. So we're going to answer that now. That's where I have my red highlight. So that means the value of x is less than 0 
where we have the function decreasing. I can relate that to a straight line when we are finding the gradients of a straight line. If we have it in this direction, then we have it as a negative gradient. And if we have it in this direction, we have it as a positive gradient. The fourth part of the question says the minimum value of f. So note that if a parabola is concave down or is sad face, at that point where we have the turning point, that will be a maximum value. And if we have a concave of up parabola or we have a smiley face, the turning point will be a minimum value. In this case, we have a concave up, so the turning point, I'm going to highlight that, at point A is where we have our minimum value. And the value of x of y at that point is y equals negative 2. Note that at that point, x is 0, but y is negative 2. For the fourth part of the question, or the fifth, we've done the fourth, the fifth part says the turning point of f. Note that the turning point of f is also by a, such that we have, for question 5, a turning point, the coordinate, which is also point A, is, we have that as 0 and negative 2. So a turning point, the value of x is 0, and the value of y is negative 2. For the sixth part of the question, we have the equation of the axis of symmetry of f. The axis of symmetry is a line that divides the parabola into two equal halves. And if you look at what we have, it's a line that is aligned with a y-axis. And therefore, the value of x at that point, that's question 6, the value of x is 0. So the equation of the axis of symmetry at that point is x is 0. For question 7, we have the domain and the range of the function f. For the domain or the x values, we have x is an element of real numbers or we have x is an element of, we have that as negative infinity to a positive infinity. To find the range of the function, note that we have a minimum. So therefore, the range of the function will start from a minimum value, which is negative 2. So the range, we have y is greater or equal to negative 2, or I can rewrite that as y is an element we have starting from and including negative 2 to positive infinity. The seventh part of the question says the equation of h and the value of its gradient. Note that we've been told in the question that the line h is parallel to the x-axis, so therefore that's a special line, and the equation will just be the value of y, which matters. Note that a lies on the is a point on line h, so therefore the equation of the parallel line h will be y equals negative 2. And note that because it's a parallel line, it's parallel to the x-axis, Therefore, the gradient will be zero. Note that I mentioned earlier, if I have the gradient in this direction, it's positive. If we have a gradient that is parallel to the axis, we have that as zero gradient. And then if we have a gradient in that direction, we have that as a negative gradient. And then to the last but not the least question, find the domain and range of h. Not that the equation we have that is y equals to negative. I'm going to rewrite that, that the equation of h is y equals negative 2 because the line goes 
input can go in both direction positive or negative of our x-axis so therefore our domain will be x is an element of real numbers or we can say x is an element of we have from negative infinity to a positive infinity and to find the range that's our y values range is we have y is an element of we have y equals to negative 2 thanks for watching bye